All right, it looks like we have hit 10 o'clock, so we are ready to go this Friday night. We've got three things on tap tonight. One is an autographed full-size football helmet. Uh, that will be followed by a full case of National Treasures football. And then that will be followed by a half case of Gypsy Queen baseball. So that's what we have on tap tonight. That's the order that we're going to be breaking in as well. I do always run through some information before we start uh, ripping packs, so let's do that real fast here. First up, you'll see there that my feedback is 100% automated on eBay. So what that means to you is, as soon as you leave positive feedback for me, you're going to instantly get it in return. You don't have to wait on me to get caught up or any of that stuff. And then, of course, uh, to say thank you. I always appreciate everyone who bids with me and breaks with me and chats with me. And uh, so, yeah, so thanks to everybody for joining. Next up, we'll take a quick look at what's up already on eBay. This is for the five days ahead. Uh, I do generally list five days out because eBay charges us a horrendous extra fee if we list for shorter time frames. So there you go. Uh, tomorrow night, we're going to do some 2007 Premier 2013 Playbook, a little 1213 Gold Standard Basketball, and a quarter case of Donruss Basketball, searching for those uh, next day autographs, which have been soaring in price lately. On Sunday, we will open a half case of Heritage Baseball, and that will be the beginning of a new case and also the last case that I have. On Monday, another full-size helmet, but a different brand. It will be from Gold Rush, and it's got a lot of cool stuff in it. So uh, if you haven't looked at uh, the sell sheet for that, I attached it in the pictures on that break, so it's pretty cool. And it does have a couple of separate bidding categories, one for Heisman Trophy winners and collegiate greats. Both of those are multi-sport uh, or multi-signed helmets. Then some 15 Lux, some 10 plates and patches, and the last full case that I have of Select Basketball. On Tuesday night, we'll do an autographed jersey. We will do another full case of National Treasures football and another half case of Gypsy Queen baseball. On Wednesday, we'll do an autographed mini helmet and a full case of Prism Mosaic Basketball. So that's what the five days ahead looks like for us. Tonight, a couple things you need to know. First off, the football helmet. That's a completely free shipping item. Anytime something ships completely free, uh, it goes out roughly five to six days after the auction ends. So the anticipated shipping date for whoever pulls the autographed helmet is going to be Thursday, the 29th of March. Also, please take note, if you do not pull anything in that break, you are entitled to a consolation card that would typically be shipped with your next hit. Can be shipped sooner upon request. More details, of course, in the listing description, and they're on the screen. Our paid shipping breaks tonight, National Treasures Football and Gypsy Queen Baseball. I'm listing both of those guys as Tuesday ships. And I'm going to try really hard to get them out to you quicker than that, but I'm not certain that I can. So to play it safe, we're going to leave them listed for Tuesday the 27th. And if I can get it to you sooner, I will. So first up tonight, a 2018 Hit Parade Series 13 full-size autograph football helmet. This is break number 10. So the 10th time that we have uh, busted into a 2018 Hit Parade full-size helmet. Like everything else tonight, this ended on March the 23rd on eBay, and we're live streaming it tonight, March the 23rd. And of course, your team names are on one side, winning bidders across from it. A new spreadsheet will go up before each and every break, so if you're not in this break, not to worry. You're going to get a chance uh, to see your name up there when we get to your break. And right there, you saw the focus change. That is by design, please. Please don't adjust your set, as they would say. Please don't adjust your television. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I don't like all the zooming in and out with autofocus, so I just change it. This will not ship to you in this outer box because it's a weird box and it's not made for shipping purposes. I don't know why they use these boxes, but they do. So I will put it in a nice sturdy shipping box for you 
and it will come in this uh, carrying case that you see there. Well, you can't see all of it, but it's a little drawstring hip braid uh, carrying bag thing, and it will come to you in that. Oh boy, ho ho ho, we just got a nice one. There's a little sticker in the edge of the bag that tells me what it is before I take it out. This is sweet. So, so, so nice. Yeah. Yeah, baby, it is. The Raiders and it's the Super Bowl helmet. How about that, man? How cool is that? So there's one of your signatures. That's Belitnikov. Um, you've got a couple of others across the front here. Let me see if there's any more on the other side or if they're all on that side. Yeah, I guess they're all on that side, but we can see it is numbered back here. Uh, and there's also an authentication sticker of some sort. And let me see if I can, if there's any paper. Yeah, here's some kind of a paper authentication as well. Let's take a look at it. And it's a big, it's a big thing. All right, so it is Belitnikov, Jim Plunkett, and Marcus Allen. And it was limited to only 18, 18 total made. And boy, we've got one of them. So how nice is that? This is really cool. It's uh, upper deck authenticated. So super, super nice hit tonight for the Raiders. And once again, we'll just kind of uh, give a little overview there. There's a couple of your signatures. And I know I'm going to give you motion sickness, right? Sorry. <laughs> There's the Belitnikov uh, there on the back. So very cool, guys. And that is our full-size helmet for tonight. Super Bowl for the Raiders, limited to only 18 signed. Nice. Give me a second to get this back in its carrying case, and then we'll bust into National Treasures. All right, let's get our spreadsheet set up and take a quick look. So once again, if you're in National Treasures, I am anticipating it will ship Tuesday. If I can get it to you faster than that, I will. Uh, one other thing to note, if you happen to have a team that doesn't pull a card in National Treasures, you will not have to wait until your next uh, package ships because this is a paid shipping break. So it would go out, uh, your consolation would go out to you the same time the rest of the break ships. And other than that, everything else is as you see there. So this is four boxes of 2017 National Treasures football. It's a full case break. This is the second time we broke in National Treasures. We broke a half case um, the night it came out, Wednesday night. And of course, like our other auction, this ended tonight the 23rd. And we'll give you a chance here to see your name in lights and get your mojo working. Yeah, because I know, I know, everybody wants to, uh, everybody wants to hit out of here. This is an awesome, awesome product. And I just need to do one quick thing, guys. I had one uh, that I was waiting on payment for. Let me see if that has come in real quickly and make sure that we are good to go with everything. And then we'll get, uh, we'll get into this box. Or case, I should say. It's not just a box. It's a case full of boxes. And looks like, uh, yeah, we're in good shape. All right, so that, uh, yeah, I've got a Gypsy Queen still out. But everything else, uh, I think, came in. And we are pretty well good to rock and roll. So, awesome. Uh, Ralph, that was the... The helmet that we just broke was the Hit Parade Series 13 autograph full-size helmet. I think break number 10, if I'm remembering right. I know we just looked at it, but I don't retain that stuff sometimes. <laughs> and yeah, it ended on eBay tonight, uh, just a little while ago, as a matter of fact. And guys, if you happen to be, or and gals, if you happen to be watching live right now and you can't see chat or participate in chat 
There's two things I can tell you. One, you have to be logged into YouTube, I believe, to be able to see it and participate in it. Second thing is if you're logged in and you still can't see it and you're on a mobile device, then I think you have to click on that little link that says view the desktop version. Ralph, who did you have in the helmet break? Was the, did you have the Raiders? Because if you did, man, that was one sweet hit. That's probably one of my favorite helmets that we pulled in recent memory. And I don't even remember seeing, you know how Hit Parade will just give you a handful of pictures, right, that, that represent helmets that you can pull out of there. So each series that they do has 100 helmets in it. And they'll maybe give you 10 or 11 pictures and, you know, another five or six names. And then the rest of it, you, know, you don't know what it is. You just find out when you open it up. So to have that come out, and I don't even remember seeing it featured. Maybe it was, but I don't remember seeing it featured on their sell sheet for that uh, particular series. But that was a nice hit. Let me get some sleeves out before we start getting these cards out of here. And of course, National Treasures is always, always so awesome. Out of the half case that we opened on Wednesday, we pulled a single one of one, just a single one, just a single card that was numbered one of one, but you know, still, it was pretty cool. Duke Riley is first out. That is numbered to 25. It is hard signed uh, for the Falcons. A T.Y. Hilton card numbered to 75 for the Colts. I've got some kind of, I need to, there's some kind of weird uh, alert I had to dismiss over there. Sorry. So otherwise it'll start updating something in the middle of the break, which I definitely don't want <laughs> Hi, Nick Bowers, Nicholas Bowers. How are you? This is to 99 Carolina Panthers Christian McCaffrey relic, dual relic. A Century Materials, that has got to be game used because, boom, there's a grass stain and some dirt on it, so I already love it. This is to 49, and it is Julius Thomas. Not to mention that, you know, we've got three colors in it, but the grass stain and the dirt... That makes it for me. Anytime something is game used, I mean, I want that sucker to be beat up. Blood, sweat, and tears on it. Colossal materials for the Cowboys with Tony Dorsett. And um, was that? Yeah, it was numbered and I missed it. It is numbered to 99. It's down there in the lower right. Nicholas Bowers, you asked for some Steelers. Well, here's a pair of them for you. James Connor and Juju Smith-Schuster to 99. little dual relic there for the Steelers. Next up, Malik McDowell to 99. That one is a sticker auto for the Seahawks. Our booklet, let's set our booklet aside for a second. Davis Webb, this is hard signed on card. A couple of... Uh, Pieces of jersey up there at the top as well, and numbered to 99 for the Giants. The Bengals with a nice Joe Mixon. You have three pieces of jersey, hard signed uh, on card, numbered to 49. And our booklet is Mr. Kenny G, Kenny Galladay, numbered to 99. And that is a pretty cool patch, I have to say. So, also hard signed, of course, and really, all in all, that's a pretty awesome little booklet. I like it. Lions, it's good. Here's the thing about the booklet. You can't really put it in a top loader. They make top loaders that would fit the booklet, but not, I mean, I guess you could, but I don't think this, I don't think there's a sleeve for it. So I don't know. It would def. I mean, they make t they make one touch cases for them, but I don't think they really have necessarily sleeves and top loaders for it. But I will make sure that it's packaged up all nice and safe and sound for you before it hits the road. Anyway, Lions. JJ Watt to ninety nine for the Texans. Frank Gore 
to 49 for the Colts. There's Co-op Vlogs and Fishing. Hi. And um, Nicholas, send me a, a message. I mean, we would have to figure it out because I would have to, I mean, on eBay, I'd have to weigh it and then figure out what box it would go in and all that jazz. So um, we'll have to talk about that a little more. This is Davis Webb to 99 Relic for the Giants who just keep pulling Davis Webb and would probably rather have somebody other than Davis Webb. <laughs> That's my guess. Cincinnati Bengals, Andy Dalton and A.J. Green to 99. A little combo materials there for the Bengals. This is looking promising. Yeah, but you know what? If we don't have the same team owner for the Texans and the Bears, which I don't think we do in this break, this is going to have to go to random and break somebody's heart. It is numbered to 10. It is two really nice patches, Trubisky and Deshaun Watson. So I'm going to set it aside here, and uh, we'll sort it out at the end of the break. And Nicholas, I'm assuming you mean the outer box, right? You don't mean the little inner box, I'm assuming. Because, I mean, the little inner box wouldn't obviously be that big a deal. <laughs> but the, the bigger outer box is kind of more the thing. To 99, the Eagles with another really nice patch. This is... Um, Hard signed on card there for Mac Hollins. And is that part of the logo? Maybe? I don't know. Might be. Part of the eagle itself? It looks like it is. Redskins to 49 with Mark Mosley. That's digging back into the vault a little bit to come up with uh, Mark Mosley. Oh, I'm so glad we find Taiwan Taylor because you know I love his signature. It's so nice. To 99 on card with Triple Relics. Green Bay Packers, nice hit with Paul Horning. And it is numbered 249. You have a relic there and the autograph. It is uh, just says player worn, not game worn. But it's a sticker, sticker auto and relic. For the Paul Horning. Uh, D. Wally, I will definitely recap everything from National Treasures at the end of the break. Uh, I mean, pretty much everything in here is a hit, but we'll do another quick pass through everything. So if you missed it, you'll be able to uh, take a look at it here again in a minute. To 99, Dalvin Cook for the Vikings. Nice two-color patch, hard-signed autograph there. Let me move my... I've got to scoop my little stacks slightly farther back to have more room. I'm leaving Deshaun and Mitch over there because they're going to have to go to um, random in a minute. Sorry, that was kind of loud. Those big metal boxes, when they land on each other, kind of loud. It's actually a wooden box, but it's got a metal coating. All right. This is quite nice. Quite, quite nice. Numbered to 10. I mean, the Raiders are just having a night tonight after pulling that, pulling that beautiful full-size helmet. Now we pull this beautiful card to 10, Marshawn Lynch and Derek Carr. Very nice hit for the Raiders. Phillip Rivers to 99, Chargers. Another hit for the Redskins to 49 with Fabian Moreau. And what's that uh, sticker? Yeah, sticker. Steelers, James Harrison. Oh, that one kind of makes me sad because I like James Harrison a lot, but, you know, he left us and went to the Patriots, so now it kind of just makes me a little sad. But it is numbered to 25, uh, James Harrison, player-worn relic. Colossal Materials to 99, Steve Largent for the Seahawks. Oh, Boy, <laughs> we're going to have to go to random a couple of times, I imagine. 
Okay, so guys, on this card, you have to own 51% or more of a card to keep it out of random. So since we have four teams, uh, we would have to have three of the four teams owned by the same person to keep this out of random. Otherwise, we have Carlos Henderson for the Broncos, Chris Godwin for the Bucks, Kenny Galladay for the Lions, and then for the Seahawks, uh, Darball. And that, again, numbered to 10. So we'll set it over here in our same little pile that says we're going to have to visit uh, random.org. Numbered to 81, a couple of nice patches, four color on one side, two color on the opposite for Mike Williams. Tredavious White, Buffalo Bills to 99, sticker auto and a nice size relic. I see a stinking redemption. We're gonna set it back for a second. Josh Dobbs, there's another Pittsburgh Steeler for you. To 99 on card auto and relic. And our redemption, we'll look at it in a sec. And we'll go to the website, of course, and verify it as well. I always do that. We go to the official checklist and I put it up on the screen so everybody can see that what team it goes to and what it's going to be numbered to and all that stuff. Usually we know the teams, but just to be on the safe side, I need a different sleeve for that anyway, I still go and look it up. And I put it in the sleeve so I can write on the sleeve in a minute. Co-op vlogs, what are you telling me there? Oh, you're going to watch the Purdue game. Gotcha. I don't know who you have in here, Co-op Vlog, so I don't know if we have uh, your... T but I think you've been here since the start, right, though? So you're probably square on everything anyway. Mike Evans to 99 for the Bucks. Big Ben Roethlisberger to 49 for the Steelers. And when my screen went to sleep and I woke it up, I hit the wrong thing. There we go. Now I can see what I'm doing again. Amara Darball to 99 Seahawks with the relic. The Bears with a little Mike Ditka to 99 Century Materials. That's kind of a cool hit. Vikings with another uh, hit to 25. Stefan Diggs on the receiving end of the Minneapolis Miracle Throw. Another card that will end up going to random unless someone owns two of the three teams. This one numbered to 99, though. We have O.J. Howard for the Bucks, Evan Ingram for the Giants, and um, David Njoku for the Browns. Gerard Davis to 99 for the Lions. P. Ryan, 99, on card, hard signed, and a good size relic, but why do they make it all white? I mean, this is National Treasures. They needed to give us a second color in there. Come on, Panini. Greg Olson for the Panthers, 249. And last but not least, and the Chiefs were getting pretty nervous, I imagine, we have for you a nice Pat Mahomes to 99, big tricolor patch, hard signed auto, nice hit for the Chiefs, who were probably, you know, really getting a little nervous at that point, right? I mean, that's the very last card other than this redemption. Um, okay, so first off, well, let's flip, let's flip this and then we'll do our other. Oh, Juju Smith Schuster and a booklet, no less. So look at that, Nicholas. You asked for some Steelers hits, and you got some Steelers hits, my friend, including the one you wanted probably the most, because that is nice. All right, so this is Rookie Jumbo Prime Signatures Booklet Vertical Variation. That is going to be pretty flipping sweet. Let's go to the checklist. I know it's the Steelers. You know it's the Steelers. I already wrote the Steelers on there, but we are still going to go make it official here. We'll also find out what that bad boy is going to be numbered to. 
And I already, tonight, see, smartly, I already had it set up for National Treasure so we didn't have to go through so many drop downs. Why is this coming up? Didn't I say 2017? So why does it have all this 2014 stuff in there? That's super weird. Um, okay, whatever. We'll just keep scrolling. Rookie Jumbo Prime. Rookie Jumbo Prime Signatures Booklet. But then I need the vertical variation. That's way on down here. Okay, right? Prime Signatures. Yeah, this is it. So, Juju Smith-Schuster is going to be numbered to 99. So, pretty sweet little hit. We already knew it was a pretty sweet little hit just by the description, but yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be really super awesome. Now, we have to take a look at this. So we're going to go to the checklist, or the checklist, we're going to go to the spreadsheet and see if anyone owns two of the three teams. If they do, they take this card outright. If they don't, all three teams will end up going to random. I will enter them from left to right, so it would go in as Bucks, Giants, and Browns. If we end up taking it to random, I will hit random three different times. The first two times won't count. It will only be the third and final random that will make the determination as to who gets that card. But first, let's see if we have uh, different team owners of the same. The Buccaneers, Rick Tilly, six. The Giants, Raven Servicing, 98. And the Browns, J. Rodden, 123, underscore, eight. So now that means we are buzzing over to random for this. And just for your reference, if some of you haven't done a break with me before, I always enter cards left to right if they're in that orientation. If they're in the opposite orientation, I would enter them top to bottom. If they have both orientations, it would be top to bottom on the left, followed by top to bottom on the right. So once again, guys, the first two times do not count. So the first one, ignore. The second, ignore. Our third and final, there you'll see three times. Our date and time stamp, it comes up to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is in a sleeve, okay, so I'm not writing on your card. I always feel like I have to say that, even though I would think people would probably know I wouldn't write on the card. I think you always kind of have to show it to be on the safe side. We're going to go through the same process for this uh, with the Broncos, the Bucks, the Lions, and the Seahawks. Let me get myself back on the right page. All right, so Broncos, Rinaldi, the Bucks, who we just saw a minute ago, Rick Tilly, the Lions, Sport Court, and the Seahawks, 12-ish. All right, guys, so we are, of course, again, headed back over here to random. Same format as before, and as just like what we did a second ago the first two will not count the third one will be the determining factor so that one was broncos bucks lions seahawks first one ignore it second one ignore it third and final tells us the answer there's three times our date and time stamp it goes to the lions so that is this little card right here, headed off to the Detroit Lions by way of random.org. And once again, of course, the mark is on the sleeve, not the card. Finally, we have the Trubisky and the Deshaun Watson and uh, Bears and Texans. I don't think that we have the same team owner for that, but we are going to go make certain of it uh, because that's just how I do it. Pretty sure, though, that they are different tonight for those two teams. So the Bears, Razzo, won. The Texans, DT, uh, boy, I don't know, DT, Inarad. <laughs> I'm sure that's right, Inarad. I don't know. I'm sure that's wrong. Anyway, you can see it there. You know who you are. The main thing is it's two different uh, team owners, which means we are headed back to random. 
Same as before, will be enter will be uh, conducted three times, and the first two do not count. It is the third time that will tell us where this card is going to go. So first one, ignore it. Second one, ignore it. Third and final, and there you'll see three times our date and time stamp, and that goes to the bears. So that is this card here awarded to the bears by way of random. And I'm going to do one thing here. I'm going to tweak this focus just ever so slightly because I want to see if that lets me get the card up closer to the camera or not. It should, but yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably about the same, isn't it? I know I'm fiddling with it, but I like to be able to look at them up fairly close without having any problems. So anyway, let's recap this. Uh, this card was awarded to the Bears by way of random.org. This card awarded to the Lions, again, by way of random.org. This one to the Buccaneers by way of random.org. Uh, Joe, sorry, I was just now looking at chat again. I've been busy over there in random and spreadsheet and all that. Of course, we're recapping right now, so you'll be able to uh, to take a look as we go along here in the recap. Our redemption is, oh, what did I just hit? Our redemption is Juju Smith-Schuster, uh, the booklet, the vertical variation booklet, prime signatures, etc., numbered to 99 for the Steelers. Trying to get my screen back up. I hit the wrong button on the iPad and changed my view. And the rest of these guys, we're not, I'm gonna, not going to read all this off again because we've looked at them. But I will flip them over front and back. And you can take another pass at them as we go along here. I know we did have some people that joined late. And there will be other people who have uh, not watched live and will be watching the recorded version who know they can just scroll right to the end and see the recap so that keeps everybody happy keeps everybody on track and and going okay and remember if you are in this break and you have a team that did not pull any card at all not a single card out of the break, you are still entitled to a consolation card. I will get that out in the mail when the rest of the break ships, which for those of you who jumped in late, I'm anticipating will be Tuesday. I will try to get it out sooner than that. There's a slight possibility I can get it out sooner than that. But to be on the safe side, uh, I tend to list the date that I think is most likely. And then if it goes out early, so much the better. Nice little Kenny Galladay booklet there. And of course, if you're here for Gypsy Queen, <clears throat> excuse me, Gypsy Queen Baseball, we will be starting that momentarily. As soon as we finish recapping National Treasures, we will dig into Gypsy Queen, which is the back half of a case that we started Wednesday night on release night. Actually, a fair amount of Steelers came out of here. I know Nicholas at the beginning of the break was uh, was working the mojo for the Steelers, and uh, he conjured up some pretty good hits. It's a nice patch with the grass stain and the dirt on it. But frankly, I think that's the only kind of patch we should ever have. They should all be game used and full of dirt and sweat and tears and <laughs> grass stains and blood and whatever maybe not blood that might be a little too much but <laughs> you know what i mean if they're going to be game used let's make them game used of course a lot of those are just player worn there's your nice chiefs hit joe that you are hoping that you hit and you did it was the very last card we flipped over out of the break other than of course the redemption So if you had been watching the whole break, you probably would have been pretty nervous by then anyway. <laughs> yeah, he types in, holy crap. <laughs> 
Indeed. It was quite a nice hit, wasn't it? Made you very happy. But you would have been, you know, you would have had the sweaty palms, probably, if you'd been watching it live. Because to get right there to the last card, you're like, oh, no. Because <laughs> I think that was it. That's the only card I believe we pulled for the Chiefs in the whole entire uh, break, I think, was that one, wasn't it? So, yeah, it would have been a little nerve-wracking, I think. All right, guys, that wraps up this case of National Treasures. We will, of course, be doing more full cases of National Treasures next week and maybe even maybe even into the following week. Depends on how much I've got down there. I can't honestly remember at this exact moment uh, how much I have down there. But it's, it's a handful of additional cases anyway beyond what we've done so far. So we'll be buzzing through those in the days ahead. So, once again, if you are here for Gypsy Queen, your anticipated shipping date is Thursday, the 20th, or Tuesday, ah, bah, bah, Tuesday, rather, the 27th, and if I can get it out to you sooner, I absolutely will. Uh, it's always plus or minus a day, so it's possible it could go out Monday, it's possible some could slide to Wednesday, I don't think so, I think Tuesday's a pretty safe bet. This is six boxes of 2018 Topps Gypsy Queen Baseball. It's a half case break, break number two. Of course, the first half of this case we opened up uh, on release night, which was Wednesday night. And like our other products uh, from tonight, this ended uh, on March 23rd, which is today on eBay. And we're live streaming it the same day. And we're ready to start busting in it. <laughs> Joe, yes, it definitely was last card mojo. It was for sure last card mojo. Sometimes that works though, right? I mean, last box mojo sometimes works. Last card mojo sometimes works. <laughs> I think I hit the camera. It's not quite on center, but now oh, well, it's close enough, I guess. All right, so these little boxes that we are opening up here tonight. Actually, I can flip them around and you can see it on all of them. They're numbered on the end, and I keep saying six. It is not six. It is five. It is a 10-case box for Gypsy Queen, and I don't know why I keep typing six on the stupid spreadsheet. It is not six. It is five. Uh, these are 10-case boxes, and I did that the last time, too, and that's probably why I did it this time, because I copied and pasted it from the last time. So there, I just fixed it. <laughs> so now it says five, which is what it should say, because there's only 10 boxes in here. I'm used to, uh, of course, breaking Heritage, which is our most recent product that we broke before Gypsy Queen. It was a 12 box case, so I just have 12 on the brain. Also, that's a more typical size of a case than 10. Okay, so the reason these are numbered on the end, that's what I was getting to when I realized I had made a typo on the spreadsheet, is because whenever I start a brand new case, and we're not going to break the whole case. I take all the boxes out and number them on the end. And that's what determines which ones we open in the first part of the break versus which ones we open in the second part of the break. So that's how we arrive at the five that we are opening tonight. Now the next Gypsy Queen break, which is the early part of next week, because we're going to break Heritage uh, over the weekend. The next Gypsy Queen after this one will be the start of a brand new case. And of course our chrome box toppers here are always cool. I do have uh, sleeves and top loaders that fit these so that's how I'll get them out to you. Manny Machado for the Orioles out of this box. And they're a heavier uh, card stock, I think, this year than they have been in past years, just as a kind of an FYI. Each one of our boxes is going to have two on-card autographs, two hard-signed autos. There are also some variations in here, and I actually thought that we didn't pull any Jackie Robinson Day out of the first half of the case because I was kind of expecting to pull a couple and I found when I was doing I do kind of two sorts a quick sort 
to make sure, you know, I've caught variations and things like that. And then a detailed sort that puts them into teams. So when I did the first sort, after we completed the first half of this case, I found that we did actually have a Jackie Robinson day. It was for the Kansas City Royals. I think it was Hosmer, actually, maybe. Um, anyway, that is one of the possibilities that we can find in here. There will also be some that will have blank team names. There will be some that have a lady's face that replaced the Gypsy Queen logo down there. Uh, and a few other little odds and ends that we can find as we go along for short prints and things of that nature. And I need to get the other size sleeves out. Okay, Nicholas, yeah, that sounds good. I will uh, try to remember not to toss all of those boxes in the recycle in the trash. I'll keep one back for you. For the Giants, number 250, the black and white parallel panic. One other thing I can tell you is the bazooka backs this year. You know, last year they were all short prints and actually I think SSPs. That's not the case this year. They're actually an entirely parallel set this year. So, how about that? These tarot uh, cards are kind of cool. We'll find a bunch of them too. That one, Devers for the Red Sox. Nick Castellanos for the Tigers. And that, of course, is one with the blank team name up there at the top. And I'm trying to get myself a little, a different set of uh, piles going over here so that I can keep everything sorted if we want to recap it. Okay, there is a capless version that is a short print. This, however, is just an Upton's base card. So it looks like it should be part of the capless short prints, but it isn't. That is his actual base card. Yasmani Tomas for the Diamondbacks. This one, of course, uh, you can see has the lady's face down there instead of the Gypsy Queen logo. We'll find a fair amount of those as we go through. There'll be some minis that we'll come across uh, at some point, but they're kind of a weird size mini in my estimation, but, but they're in here, so. In fact, I'm surprised we haven't seen one by now. Usually they're trying to fall off of the stack of cards. All the cards do ship in this. I know sometimes that is a question that comes up. So all of my breaks, unless it says otherwise in the listing description, will have all the cards shipping. And if that's ever not the case, you would find it in the description in the same area where it talks about what's being broken. So like where it would say five times, you know, 2018 tops Gypsy Queen Baseball, that kind of stuff which is right below where it gives the date and time for the break. If there is ever a point where not all the cards are shipping, that is the place where it would say it, like right below where the product is listed and the quantity is listed. Here comes one of our bazooka backs. And remember, this is a whole parallel set this time, not an SSP. Miguel Sano for the Twins. A little Bo Jackson, Bo Knows Baseball, Kansas City Royals. And what is the card number on that? Yeah, that's part of our regular short prints. It's uh, numbered to three, it's a base card short print. I think it is 300 to either 319 or 300 to 320 are our base card short prints this year in Gypsy Queen. This one has the lady's 
face replacing the um, logo, but also is capless. So double, double uh, short print, I guess, if you will. Sorry, I'm just checking one little quick thing there. Making sure I didn't uh, miss anything else on Bo Jackson. And I didn't, so we're good. Here's one of our fortune teller minis. See what I mean, though? It's kind of a weird size, right? Like a little bit. That is Clint Frazier for the Yankees. I think I would prefer for the minis to just be like really mini, like we think of when you think of Bowman minis or things like that, more so than that's kind of like the same height, but just a smaller cut. It's, I don't know, it's kind of odd. Carlos Correa tarot insert for the Astros. And we will have lots more Gypsy Queen in the days ahead too. Um, you probably heard me mention earlier that we are doing Heritage. I think it is maybe Sunday. Is that right? And it will be the first part of a new case, and it's the last case of Heritage. So we'll probably also finish it up some part of, of the way through next week. But as for Gypsy Queen, we've got plenty of Gypsy Queen. I've also got Topps Tribute coming, and normally I would break that on release night, but I forgot <laughs> to list it. I realized it about 10 minutes before the break was supposed to start, but it was too late then, so uh, we'll break it Thursday, I guess, instead. Because, you know, they changed the date on Tribute, and so after they changed the date, I somehow mentally sort of lost track of when it was supposed to be, and... And then I forgot to get it listed. Here's a nice little hit for the Dodgers um, with Alex Verdugo on card auto. So Dodgers, I think that's well worth your well worth your bid price. Pull the nice Verdugo. Fortune teller mini Chris Bryant for the Cubbies. Another fortune teller mini. Is that Bryce Harper? Yeah, it is for the Nats. And our second autograph here is Parker Bridwell for the Angels, numbered to 149. And you know, we pulled a Bridwell out of the first half of this case, too. So isn't that weird? He was in both, had an autograph in both halves of the case. Tucker Barnhart for my Cincinnati Reds, numbered to 250. So I was talking to someone the other day who, I guess, had gone to the industry summit and said that Topps announced, I believe what he said was that uh, Otani is in every single product for the rest of the year. <laughs> so, Noah Syndergaard for the Mets with the Tarot Diamond. So they got him in early, and he's going to be in all year long. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Those little fortune tellers like to slide right off the stack. Cody Bellinger for the Dodgers. He is fortunately no worse for the wear, uh, given the fact that he kind of slid there off the stack. But that's why we have the mats and why I don't hold them up very high, both. Because you never know when somebody's, when a card's going to try to jump ship on us. First, I already knew that he was going to be in Heritage High Number. Of course, he was in regular Heritage as a pitcher. Uh, or is in regular Heritage as a pitcher, and he's going to be in Heritage High Number as batter. But they had announced that already. And I figured he would be in Series 2, but I wonder how they're going to put him in Update. Like, how's he going to be in Update? 
Freddie Freeman for the Braves is our box top, chrome box topper out of this one. I don't know, but that's what they said. And then I wonder if that is why we have such a delay on Inception. Because, you know, Inception was originally supposed to be out next week. And that's about the time of year Inception normally comes out. But they top sent out a thing that said, hey, no, it's going to be delayed. And we don't even know what date it's coming yet. So they, all they said was it's definitely not coming out in March. And it's definitely not coming out in April. I'm thinking, how can you, how did you get that far out of whack that you're now going to be like two months off? That doesn't happen very often with top with their products like Inception. I mean, some products, sure, get moved, like Tribute, for example, which would have normally come out probably two or three weeks ago, but they moved it. So I don't know what's going on over there, but something is. But that's all right. We'll have Gypsy Queen and Heritage to keep us busy until something and tribute until something else comes out oh i keep laying my knife in the wrong spot and then i can't find it later so yeah mariano rivera with the blank team name, and I'm guessing one of our base card short prints for the Yankees. Yeah, it's number 310, so it certainly is one of our base card shorts. And then, of course, the missing team name as well. Two for one. Reese Hoskins coming up for the Phillies, numbered to 50. Nice little rookie black and white there for the Phillies. Chris Davis, Oakland A's tarot insert. And look at this. We're about to get another nice hit. Andahar for the Yankees. Very nice indeed for Miguel Andahar. So the Yankees and the Angels and the Dodgers all on the board already. And we haven't even finished the second box yet. Not bad, not bad. Patrick Corbin, Diamondbacks. That is the lady's face replacing the logo is the variation on that one. I may as well set those aside and then we'll bust into some more. Queen is always awesome. Of course, so is Heritage. I hate that they have so many base cards because it's just painful to sort. <laughs> it really is. But I really like the series, so I always order a bunch of it, even though it's painful to sort. And same thing with Bowman. You know, all those ones that have a zillion base cards. But we still break them because they're kind of awesome for the Yankees are all this Chapman tarot insert our second signature out of this box how about that for the Cardinals nice does he is it De Jong or De Hong does it can anybody tell me can anybody type in and tell me that because you know I pronounce the names wrong, oh, all the time, in every sport, <laughs> known to man. 
Even when I hear them pronounced repeatedly, I often still pronounce them wrong repeatedly. I don't know what my deal is, but it's just a fact. But I do, I would like to know if his name is supposed to have the J sound or the H sound, because I don't know the answer to that. I don't know if I've ever heard it pronounced by anyone else. Clint Frazier for the Yankees. Another fortune teller, Chris Bryant, Cubbies. All right, so nobody's in chat or nobody knows how to pronounce it or just nobody wants to share the information. I don't know, maybe all of the above, possibly. I don't know. Well, anyway, I'll figure it out one of these days. There's still a guy in basketball that every single time I see his name, I have to stop and think about how to pronounce it. It's, uh, I would see now, I've already forgotten again, Ojale, semi Ojale. And I had seen it spelled out, phonetically spelled out several times and heard it pronounced a few times. And still, when I look at it on the card, I think, what is his name? So one night, I just said his name like over and over and over and over and over. Probably said his name, I mean, not on in a break. I'm talking about to myself after a break, probably 50 times to try to cement it in my head. So most of the time now I can get it, but I still have to take a minute to think about it. Max Kepler for the Minnesota Twins, blank team name. But just uh, looking at the odds on some of this stuff, I kind of gathered, this is for the White Sox, Nikki Delmonico, and that is the lady's face replacing the logo. So I kind of just calculated some odds quickly about some of the inserts, like Jackie Robinson Day, because it said, you know, it's once every X number of packs. And when you do the math, it comes out that it should be around two per case. Of course, they don't make it a case guarantee, so I don't know for certain that we will find another one in this back half of the case, but I hope that we will. Brandon Belt with the blank team name. And then, of course, there are other variations as well, black border and um, other things, too. Bryce Harper for the Nationals in that Fortune Teller Mini. Or on, not in it. It's on it. Cal Ripken. This is a base card short print for the Orioles. All right, a couple packs left here. Well, more than a couple, I guess, like four to be specific. Out of uh, box number two, which is what we're in right now. And again, five make up the half case. Fortune teller many. Cody Bellinger, Dodgers. Matt Olson to 250 for the A's. Ichiro, Marlins, Tarot. It's kind of cool that he's back in Seattle, right? I mean, they didn't have exactly the most amicable parting of the ways originally. But I, I do think it's kind of cool that he's going to be back with the Mariners. Of course, the Marlins, I mean... <laughs> 
I just traded everyone. <laughs> Their payroll is now like 10 cents. <laughs> Got rid of absolutely everybody. Box stopper here, Carlos Correa Astros. I'm hoping we find one of those signed one of these days. They exist out in the wild, but I have not pulled one. At least I don't remember pulling one. And there's our empty box. I always like to show the empty box after I take everything out of it. Just so you know it's empty. Well, I mean, not on stuff like helmets and jerseys, because we know there's one helmet and there's one jersey. Really no need to see the empty box on that. But on stuff like this, I like to show it. And every once in a while, you'll find something stuck in there. Like the way they made the boxes for select football and select basketball this year were super weird, the inserts inside them. And there was one where I was showing the inside of it, and I was like, hey, there's a pack stuck in there. So it does serve a purpose to show it, even though probably you think there's not one. There he is. Fortune teller, Mini Gary Sanchez, Yankees. Tyler Saladano for the White Sox with the lady's face replacing the logo. Oh, no, we haven't looked at those yet, have we? Fortune Teller Mini Chris Davis. Yeah, I can't be stacking things on top of a stack we haven't looked at yet. Franco for the Phillies to 250. Still in the habit of every time I see Cody Bellinger or Aaron Judge, you kind of want to stop for a second. You know, just from last year, of course, their rookie year, so hot, all their cards, you wanted to kind of take an extra look at make sure you weren't missing anything on them. And it's still such a habit every time I see one of the two of them that I want to stop and say, oh, Aaron Judge rookie or Cody Bellinger rookie. Yeah, not so much. But old habits die hard, as they say. For the Phillies, Aaron Nola with the blank team name. Pedro Martinez, Red Sox. And I don't know what's going on with this one. What is going on with this one? Oh, it's a uh, base car. Uh, Good grief. Base card short print. Should have known that. I don't know why. <laughs> I was like blanked out there for a second. Of course they're not going to have Pedro Martinez in there if it's not one of our short prints. Blake Snell for the Tampa Bay Rays. Blank team name. Our first autograph is Franklin Barreto for the A's. First one out of this box, I should say. really like to find Otani. I figured he would show up a lot more in Donruss baseball because typically that's kind of what happens. 
Panini will put a lot more hits for the hot uh, players in their products, if usually, because, you know, they're unlicensed, so they got to have a little something to b move the needle. Aaron Judge, Tarot for the Yankees. But it was not the case this year. He was uh, has been super elusive in Heritage and likewise in Donruss Baseball this year. So I don't have any more Donruss anyway, but Alex Bregman, the lady's face replacing the logo. Fortune Teller Mini, J.P. Crawford, Phillies. Yeah, since they moved the release date of a couple of things, I kind of wish I had a little more Gypsy Queen than I do have. But we'll just stretch it out by, I guess, adding in some things uh, with heritage and whatnot in between. I want to just look at the back of that. For some reason, that looks like that should be a... Uh, I guess it's not, though. No, I guess it's not. It's just the base card of the Chance Cisco. For some reason, when I looked at it, I thought maybe it was a variation, but it isn't. This is another one that looks like it should be the capless version, but it's really just the base card version of uh, Mihaya, Mihaha, whichever way you say it. Zach Cozart in that Angels uniform makes me so sad. Miss him at my, I'm going to miss him for my Cincinnati Reds. I was bummed when he signed with the Angels. But poor guy, I mean, he probably just got tired of losing. I don't know. I'm surprised Joey Votto is hanging in there with us. To 250 for the Mets. Dearnod. Fortune Teller Mini Orioles, Trey Mancini. I do think, though, that Joey Votto is probably a little underappreciated because he plays for the Reds. I think if he played for somebody else, he would probably get a little more recognition, a little more love, if you will, than he does. Chris Sale for the Red Sox tarot insert. But we have just been terrible <laughs> from what seems like a hundred years it hasn't been but boy doesn't it seem like it has been new york yankees with a second hit this is gary sanchez and another chris sale tarot i think that's well, I think it's another one. It's definitely one, but I think it's uh, a multiple. As in, we have hit it before, I believe. Cutting the plastic on box four of five in this half case. And we have Bryce Harper for the Nationals. There's our empty box. And we are off to the races. I really 
really don't know when the Reds are going to be good again. I mean, pitching is the main problem. And, of course, we do have Hunter Green, but, we just, you know, he was just drafted. So, I think you're looking at a couple of years, even best case scenario, before he comes up. I don't know. I, I guess, I don't know why we can't seem to hang on to any decent pitching staff, but whatever they tried to do with the rebuild, I think has gone off the rails. It just seems like we've been stuck in rebuilding slash losing mode for a long time. Ichiro, tarot insert for the Marlins. Whit Merrifield for the Royals, numbered 250 in our black and white parallel. Well, can't seem to get that sleeve to cooperate. Sometimes I think I bend up the corners of the sleeves, you know, like when I have them out on the table to use them, and if I don't use them all, and I put them back in the bag. And I think sometimes the corners of them get just ever so slightly bent on the sleeves. And then it's like you have a hard time getting the card to go in. What about Justin Turner, man? Can you even believe they, that pitch broke his wrist? That's a big loss for the Dodgers, too. He's got a, he's, he's, he's got a big uh, bat for the Dodgers. Garrett Cole. For the Pirates with blank team name. But that's just freaky. And then uh, Bumgarner broke his hand, right? Wasn't his left hand? Didn't he break it? It was his hand or? Yeah, I think it was his hand. Maybe it was his elbow or his wrist, but I think it was his hand. It was definitely Justin Turner's hand because he got hit by a pitch. Whitey Ford. This is a base card short print for the Yankees. It's actually a pretty cool image on there for Whitey. St. Louis with another hit. Harrison Bader. So, I mean, you know the Giants just have to be, you hate to use the word bummed because the guy's name's Bumgarner, but you know they have to be bummed. I mean, man, he missed a lot of last season. And you think you're over the hump. And if he doesn't end up with something broken in spring training. I can't remember who was pitching, though, that, that hit Justin Turner. But, tag on. Break the guy's wrist. Or hand, or whichever it was. Hand, I guess. Spring training's like a bloodbath right now. What in the world? Another bazooka back. Uh, Will Myers for the Padres. And the bazooka backs, once again, are a parallel set this year, not an SSP like it was last year. Although still not going to be super common, but just in case you didn't know. Mike Trout, Angels, blank team name. A fortune teller mini, Carlos Correa, Astros. Another mini Carrasco for the Indians. And of course, I've seen, uh, you know, some of our teams are back at their old tricks of sending their good players back down to the minors. They'll leave them down there. What is that? What is it that has to be? It's like two weeks or something like that is the amount of time. Like 14, I don't know, 14 days, 18 days, something like that. And then by doing so, they end up getting to control their rights for an extra year. Because of the 
link the service and all that. I think that's kind of nasty way to do those guys myself. For the Mets, here is a nice little hit for Ahmad Rosario. Rookie parallel to 50. Black and white, of course, on-card auto. Everything in here is an on-card autograph. So that was a nice, nice little hit for the Mets. But, I mean, you know those young guys that are really good. I mean, you know they're going to call them back up, and they're only sending them down so they can keep them under the cheap contract for the extra season. And that just seems wrong. I just don't think they should do that. But all the, I think pretty much all the teams do it, so I guess it's not unexpected. It's just... Not nice, I guess is the way to say it. It's just not nice. But of course, I guess at the end of the day, you're making a lot of money anyway, provided you're, you're good at what you do in baseball or any of our sports. They sign some pretty big contracts. Zach Cozart to 250, Angels. So when we did a break the other night, I can't remember if it was Don Russ, Heritage, if it was this. It was one of our baseball breaks, and we pulled a Will Myers, Chris Davis for the A's. And there was a William Myers signed in to chat who said, hey, I'll sign that for you. And I was like, oh, yeah, oh, ha, ha, right, you know, like. Say, okay, so there's a William Myers that'll sign your card, uh, Padres, but, you know, may not be the same guy. And this is for the Angels with the Black Border Tarot. And so I don't know if it really was or not, because then I look back, he had, uh, he did have a team in the break, as it turns out, but it wasn't, it wasn't Padres, it was, I forget what, who the team was. So anyway, later when I was prepping the stuff to ship it out, I noticed that the address really was in San Diego. So it's like, dang, you think that really was Will Myers, the baseball player? Uh, probably not. It's probably still with somebody different named William Myers. They just happened to live in that same area but in San Diego. But it was kind of cool. I don't know. Made me think twice about it anyway when I saw the address. Uh, Noah Sendergaard for the Mets, Fortune Teller Mini. But he was funny in chat. He's like, yeah, I don't use a batting glove. Just rub some dirt on it. <laughs> Which, of course, you know, Will Myers, the actual Will Myers, I don't think does use a batting glove. Araldus Chapman Tarot for the Yankees. Fortune Teller Mini Dodgers, Corey Seager. But it would have been kind of cool if it was the same guy. It probably wasn't, but it would have been cool if it was. All right, we have one box left coming up right now. So if we haven't pulled what you're looking for yet, it is time for Last Box Mojo. Yeah, you got to get the get the universe working in conjunction with us here and try to pull the heat, pull the fire. second. Sorry guys, one second. Thank you, my little uh, kitten was chewing on a wrapper that I had tossed down here 
and I was afraid he was going to bite off part of it and try to swallow it. He's the strangest cat. He licked a light socket the other day. Yeah. <laughs> Clayton Kershaw for the Dodgers to 150. That box topper numbered. He's kind of a weird little dude. And <laughs> he's really just terrible. He's just a terrible cat. I mean, I he was he's that little stray I found back in November, many of you know. And of course, you know, he's cool. I do love him. I never found a home for him, so we've kept him. But he is insane. He does some of the strangest stuff. And he's really kind of a terrible cat, all the stuff he does. He's so destructive. But yet, you know, he's a little in his cute and we love him. But I did not want him chewing off part of that wrapper and swallowing it. And then causing us to have a $1,000 vet bill to get it out of his stomach or anything weird like that. So, I had to get up long enough to chase him down and pull it out of his mouth. <laughs> so, so, thank you for your patience while I chased down a crazy cat who was trying to eat a baseball card wrapper. It's always something entertaining, right? <laughs> this is Jimmy Fox base card short print for the A's. And I always want to say Jamie Foxx, just because, you know, you think of Jamie Foxx, the actor, even though, obviously, I know it is Jimmy Foxx, but when you first, when I first see it, I always want to say Jamie Foxx. Oh, Joey Votto. I don't see Joey in here too much. I guess I do, and I just don't realize it, but Fortune Teller Mini, Rosario for the Mets. have an autographed bat for him, for a Rosario. Francisco Lindor for the tarot insert. Oh, look at this, man. Mets are crushing it. First, they got the black and white parallel Rosario a minute ago. Now you get the mini Rosario, numbered to 99. That's pretty sweet. That is two really nice hits for the Mets uh, coming out right in a row, almost. So I did get us another autographed baseball jersey. Um, I'll try to get that listed. I should have already listed it, and I just haven't. I've been behind on all my listings because I've had so much stuff to sort. All this stuff with so much base takes forever. However long it takes to break it, you can plan on at least that long to sort it, probably a little bit longer. And then, of course, you know, another big chunk of time to get it ready to ship out and actually ship it out. And so when I do a lot of breaks in close proximity that have a lot of base cards, I find that I don't have as much time to list the one box breaks and the mixers and the jerseys and the things as I would like. So I will probably get our baseball jersey up maybe about this time next week. Maybe a little sooner, but it, well, it wouldn't be any sooner than Thursday though. So Thursday or Friday. So I guess that really was right the first time about this time next week. Oh, he is trying to eat something else over there. Do not know what that crazy cat is doing. But at least whatever it is right now, he hasn't torn off part of it. For the Red Sox, Rafael Devers. For the mini, fortune teller mini. Giancarlo, tarot insert for the Yankees. But you can probably hear him over there. Can you hear all the rappers and stuff? Yeah, that's him. To 250 for the Blue Jays, Justin Smoke.
another mini. This one is many more. Many. Ah, Machado for the Orioles. Giancarlo again for the Yankees. That one with the blank team name. We haven't found as many in this half of the case with the lady's face. In the first half of the case, man, we found a ton where the logo was replaced with the lady's face. This half seems to be more of the blank team names, although we've had some of each. But doesn't seem like as many uh, with the blank team names. Yankees with another hit. Garrett Cooper. A fortune teller mini Mike Trout for the Angels. I am really anxious to see the Angels on the field this year. I mean, beyond Otani, I mean, obviously they've made some other additions as well, including Zach Cozart. So I'm really anxious to see what they're going to look like. I expect they're going to be pretty entertaining to watch. When I lived in California, I was really a Dodgers uh, fan. More, not as much an Angels fan, but but I am going to make a point to try to watch more Angels this year. The Red Sox, Rick Porcello to 250. Another tarot insert. This one is Bryce Harper. Everybody's been super quiet in chat ever since uh, all the football folks took off. Baseball's quiet tonight. That's because everybody's watching the NCAA tournament, right? Multitasking. Feel free to throw in a score update if you'd like. If you are watching it. Of course, my Kentucky Wildcats out of it. Got knocked out last night. Played a terrible game. Whoo! Stunk the joint up. <laughs> Did not deserve to win the game as badly as we played. And we didn't win it. So there you go. Sent us packing. Another bazooka back parallel. Kenley Jansen for the Dodgers. Salvador Perez for the Royals. And that is uh, the logo replaced by the lady's face. Okay, so let's recap our Gypsy Queen break. Get everything up here and we'll do a quick buzz through on that. So this is our, uh, these are our numbered cards. We'll Take a quick look at again first go round. After that, we'll look at uh, the ones that are our short prints and have variations and all that jazz. And then finally, we will wrap it up with our signature hits recap. And again, you know, that's so if you're if you missed part of it, you can see the important uh, stuff here in the recap. Or if you're just watching it later, the recorded version that was uploaded, then you you know you can just fast forward back to this part if you want. And there'll always be a recap there. So that is Lady's Face. This is the Bazooka Back Parallel. Blank team name. Base card short print. Blank team name. Bazooka back parallel, base card short print, blank team name, lady's face, blank team name, 
Uh, oh, uh, base card short print. I did the same thing when we pulled that originally. What is my deal with Pedro Martinez? Uh, blank team name. Lady's face. This one is Cal Ripken Jr. Base card short print. Blank team name. Lady's face. Blank team name. The lady's face. Blank team. Base card short print. Bazooka back parallel. Capless variation and the lady's face. Lady's face. Blank team name. Then our signature recap. The Yankees with Garrett Cooper. The Mets, Rosario Mini, number to 99. The Mets, Rosario Black and White Parallel to, two, uh, to 50. Sorry, I don't know why I started to say 250 because the non-signed ones are to 250. Cardinals with Harrison Bader. The Yankees again with Gary Sanchez. The Oakland A's with Franklin Barreto. The Cardinals, and I still don't know if it's DeJong or DeHong, but we'll go with DeJong. And that's probably wrong, but there you go. The Yankees again with Andahar, a nice hit. The Angels with Parker Bridwell to 149. And a nice little Alex Verdugo for the Dodgers, which I think is a pretty sweet little hit for the Dodgers. That wraps up this half case of Gypsy Queen baseball. I will again put up the spreadsheet information here very quickly uh, just in case uh, someone missed it earlier. There's the info about your anticipated shipping date. I am guessing it will be Tuesday. If I can get it to you sooner, I absolutely will. If something unusual happens, it could slide to Wednesday, but I expect it most likely will go out on Tuesday. And finally, we'll do a quick little pass through here. These are our upcoming breaks for the next five days. Uh, of course, tomorrow night, our case is Don Russ basketball quarter case. On Sunday, we'll start a new case of Heritage. That is a half case. On Monday, we'll do the last full case I have of select basketball. Tuesday, we will start a new case of Gypsy Queen baseball. And Wednesday, we will do a new case of Prism Mosaic basketball. And actually, on Tuesday, I forgot this, we've also got a full case of uh, National Treasures football. And, of course, you see other stuff mixed in there with one box breaks and memorabilia and all that kind of stuff, too. So that's it for tonight. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate very much you breaking with me, bidding with me, chatting with me. Uh, I hope you have a great weekend. And uh, until next time, take care. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.